Sometimes we want to save the runtime table data into the local system so that we can analyze it later or create a report. Let's see how we can save the runtime internal table data into a local Excel file. We will go to the same uh, method. We will follow the same method. You have this internal table. You click this uh, toolbar. Then this pop-up will come. Earlier we were concentrating on the lower bottom. Now we will concentrate on the top. So if you see in the top, we have table display in ALV, save in file, save in file as XML and upload from the file. So you can uh, insert the data from the file to your runtime table as well or you can do vice versa. You can save the data from your internal table to your SAP or into your uh, desktop in the form of XML or in the form of XLS. Let's say it in SAP system. Uh, since uh, our entry in this table we have deleted in the previous video, so the code will go here F5 and then it will give a error message or information message and leave out of the screen. If I do, I'll say continue. You say no records found. I click continue. It will take me out of the screen. I will go back to SE38, give the program name and hit execute. I can execute. Now I am in the same place, I go F5 and now I do F5 and you have a entry, 13 entries. So now what we want to do, we want to double click on that and then click on this service for the tools and then I want to save the, first you want to show the table display in ALB. I'll click on this, you'll see the runtime data is shown as an ALB report. So if you are having trouble seeing the report, uh, table in the runtime, during debugger, you can see it in ALV format. I go back, again I will hit this tool and now I say save in file column view. If I click on that and then click OK, see it says what format you want to save. So I will say I save it in a spreadsheet. OK, I will say hit OK and now it will ask the place where you want to save it. I will save in the desktop and I will say it is like run time March C table one time data and then I hit save and then it will say it's asking for permission I say allow and then see download completed successfully now I go to my desktop and check it uh, please pardon my clutters in the desktop this is the data I wanted to show if I double click on here see the same data 13 entries yeah, 13 entries has been downloaded. Now you can prepare a graph, you can prepare a chart or you want to do some analysis, whatever you want to do, you can do with the runtime data which was there in the uh, table. I am back to my SAP screen from where we downloaded. Now if I click on this, it says upload from file. So you can do the same thing. So if it's like reverse. The table content will be fully replaced. The content in the file must match the system structure. So I, I, before that, I'll do a cancel. I'll I'll first delete all the entries. Okay, I'll delete delete the table rows completely. So there is no entry here. Now I want to insert. I come here, upload from file, and we'll say okay. Yeah, we understand this. And then where we'll upload from runtime data. All right, the one which we downloaded. Allow. Check here. The entries has been inserted. Now it gives in row one uh, table to error errors occur during upload. Uh, you know why? Because the row one had this value, so we should have deleted it. But that's fine. It did not pick that up. Okay. So I go back here. I check the 13 entries. The error one did not get picked up, which is smart from SAP. All right. You still have 13 entries. Now if I click here, okay, this, this all are go to next find, you can do it by yourself. So this is how you can upload and download runtime error from a debugger screen. Okay, this is very helpful when there are large number of data, it had only 13 entries, say you have say uh, 50,000 entries. Now you want to do some search for a particular entry. So it will be difficult to search in this small screen. You want to download it in a spreadsheet put it in your desktop and then do the math over there or do all the calculations or then you validate it and then if everything is okay then you can continue debugging. Alright, hope you understand how to play around with the table entries.